Alright, I have a 13 inch planer. I bought this and bought it about a year ago. Um, I had a 12 inch there uh, by DeWalt, the same thing made by DeWalt and everything. So I went ahead and got the 13. Uh, they, they had some pretty good reviews for them. People do like them. Uh, I know they're noisy, you know, which I, I don't think I've heard one that wasn't noisy. But uh, it just comes with a, the planer itself. So it don't come with these things on the side here. I bought these separate. Uh, some people don't even buy those. They put some wood. Uh, they lay some wood down into it. Of course, you know, after you lay wood down, you can build a cabinet around it, whatever. I don't have a lot of room, so I'm definitely going to have to, you know, I have to do it this way. Now, I get to lift this side here up, but then, of course, I have this uh, port on the back side here, so I can't really lift that up. I can hold it up like this, maybe put a bungee strap across there, which I've done that quite a few times. But I gotta be careful I don't wanna break this off right here. Cause it don't seem like it's real sturdy, like you know, be kind be careful. That sure does work. So when you're running a machine, you know your uh sawdust is gonna blow out this part here, and I tell you what, it it blows out too. So it whatever you do, if you buy one of these and the first time you run it, make sure you got something on there, shot back, a hose hooked to it or something, because you're gonna you're gonna find out that dust that it's going to blow out the back here but I have it hooked up to my air unit in here and I have a four inch uh, pipe on it and I normally use it this way here and then I hook it to the my dust collector and uh, I I've for a while there I wasn't even using the dust collector uh, because it had enough that it blew in the bag itself on it I was really amazed how much pressure it has behind it but then I decided to go ahead and just turn the dust collector on so what I was doing is uh, I was actually uh, the machine itself was throwing the, the salt dust in it <clears throat> and then uh, it was using the dust collector it was actually helping out keeping some off the table so it was just kind of pulling it out more of course you're still going to get salt dust you know you're going the, the chips you're going to get them everywhere anyways okay uh, this is just a you have a four inch port here or or you can put a, uh, a vacuum cleaner like a shop back on here to run just a regular 110 outlet so you can plug it in anywhere you know in a shop or garage or I don't know wherever you want to put them it runs, it's got a two blade on the inside so it's got a uh, two blade system uh, both sides here and then uh, also you right here is front you have a two speed here, you got a low and a high, one or two they call it. And what it does, it, um, if you put it on low, not, that's what I'm, I normally use it on low because if I'm doing any kind of finished wood, the slower it goes through, the better it's going to, you know, that's going to, uh, it's going to look actually. It's going to do a better job of going through it slow. But if you want to feed it through fast because you're just doing something, I don't know what you would use the wood for if you're not, I'm always trying to finish wood, but uh, you can put it on fast in the board will, plane faster so I guess that's a handy thing I guess if you need it uh, you have a, a gauge here and it tells you how much this gauge here actually tells you how much you're taking off the wood at a time so when you're push, putting your wood through it it might be taking off a quarter inch at a time or eighth inch at a time or a sixteenth of an inch off you know every time you go through <clears throat> and then you have your off and on button here you have this uh, uh, reset right here you gotta watch it because I've had that reset pop I've uh, got it kind of warm there running some uh, oak through it, so, and it popped off, and then, of course, you know, uh, if you don't know it's there, you, you know, it could take a while to get it uh, set back up. So, okay, here's a, the depth, actually, there's a gauge on this side, and this gauge stops this, uh, this head of this planer from dropping all the way down. So, if I'm going to cut a piece of wood, I could go from uh, one inch, no, actually, an inch of inch and a quarter inches all the way down to an eighth inch that's pretty it's a pretty small piece of wood I mean you're talking eighth inch that's pretty small but normally you know I think like me the, a lot of the wood I do normally go down to like what, what you buy in the store down to a three-quarter inch so if I set it down to three-quarter inch the head ain't going to go any further down to that three-quarter inch you know size and then uh, and what you do over here is this is the handle that uh, cranks it up and down okay so if I go this way I'm cranking it up you know okay now 
the way I've always used it, when you shove your wood through here, and then you would crank it down. Go down. And then you shove your wood through it again, and then you crank it down, shove your wood. So you're just taking a little bit at a time off, just a little bit, a little bit at a time. Now, I don't really kind of watch the gauges because I just kind of listen to it by ear. Uh, I've had a planter for a good many years, and, uh, you know, I got used to, uh, you know, the last, well, actually, this is only the second planter I've ever owned, so the other one lasts me a good many years. Uh, I take it easy with him and, and, and run through him, you know, run the wood through him slowly. But once you get this, you keep doing that, but putting that piece of wood, you take a little by little off of, it'll come all the way down, it'll stop right at that three-quarter of an inch, meaning, okay, I'm done, my wood's down where I want it at. Uh, I did, I built a table for this because, um, well, of course I really wanted one because I wanted a little extra storage and to make this more portable, more easier to move around in the shop, um, I put four wheels on the bottom here. I'll show it to you. Let me go ahead and show it to you. Lift this up. Okay, this, all it is is a three quarter inch uh, plywood. Uh, it's a BC plywood. It's it's mostly for making cabinets. It's basically what it's for. And uh, I picked it up in town there and uh, built this. I made it a little bit bigger in here and then a little smaller down here. It's different types of tools. Like I, I put my circular saw in here. I put uh, uh, belt sanders. Uh, uh, different types of tools. Some of the, the bigger tools. And then of course down here I could throw some of the smaller tools. I have four wheels on the bottom of this thing. And each one of them has a lock on it, so I can keep it from doing this, you know, when I'm using it. Uh, it makes it handy, so you can roll it around and then lock them and unlock them. Uh, I did put no, well, actually, I didn't finish the, 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 I wanted to finish the cabinet, didn't finish the cabinet. And I didn't put no doors on it, because I really don't want no doors on it. I just, I like to see what I have inside of there at all times, you know. So if I'm out looking for something uh, and I'm looking for a sander, so oh, okay, I'll put that sander, i put it back in there. So I know, I don't want to go around opening up doors. But if I had to, you know, and had to move this and take it somewhere else, it wouldn't be uh, hard to take the four bolts out of this. And then, of course, this thing's full handles. You probably have to have me and somebody else. It, just got, it does have some weight to it, so uh, it takes a little bit to pick it up and, and, and haul it around. But, uh, it, you know, if, if you're interested in something like this, it, it's a really nice little planer, 13-inch planer to start with. Uh, I'll probably, like I said, I'll probably end up buying something bigger. I like to get about a 15-inch. Uh, of course, you know, everybody would want, you know, the bigger planer, the better, I guess, the big piece of the wood. But uh, 15, I'm, I'm going into a 15-inch wood now. So uh, maybe here another couple of years and I start expanding a little bit, I'll go ahead and get a bigger planer. But right now, this is all I got, so it's going to have to work. So, Okay, if you got any comments, leave them down below, and I'll get back with you as soon as I can. So thanks for watching.